Oh, we launched Mega Man 11. There we go. Okay. It starts with like, like giant resolution for some reason, and I might have to turn the volume down on that thing. For once, no ad. That's a miracle. Oh my god, it's like on full blast. Jesus. Okay, I need to turn it down. Yeah, okay. Actually, I could turn it a bit higher. I strongly believe Albert's research must stop. Ah, light. We can't build the future on your empty optimism. Say what you will. I cannot agree to this. Please listen. No, you listen to this. At every turn, you've ignorantly blocked my research. Mr. Wiley, control yourself. I see the committee is in agreement. And so, the department chooses Thomas Light's research into robots with independent thought. Thank you, everyone. Why? Why are you fools so blind? One day, Light. One day the world will know I was right all along. Bad memories make the worst dreams. A genius of my caliber needs sleep to keep his brain in gear. Wait. That research from my youth. Yes, now I'll show you light. And there we are. It is time for Mega Man 11. Jesus Christ. It 2018. It's already this old. Jesus. Well, here we are. Mega Man 11. Been a long time coming, but we're finally here. He was rejected by society. Yeah, he sure was. So, yeah, it's actually a modern fucking Mega Man game for once. Nothing emulator related anymore. We're just right on Steam, right in the game. Yeah, feels weird not having like a legacy collection for once. Or like an emulator, just straight up in the game. So let's start off in a new game. Uh, yeah, we got like some difficulties here. I'll just play on normal because that's like the regular difficulty, you know. You know how it is. The year is 20XX, at the laboratory of Thomas Light, father of modern robot society. Dot dot dot, many hardworking robots have arrived for their annual maintenance checkup. Hmm, all systems nominal. You're in great shape, Buck man. Well, he is a shape. All thanks to you, Doc. You built me rock solid. Well, I can hear the construction yard calling. Block out. <laughs> Good luck out there. Ro, how many checkups are left? Let's see. We just finished with Block Man. That leaves Torch Man, Acid Man, Impact Man, Bounce Man, Fuse Man, Tundra Man, and Blast Man. Just seven to go. Oh, brother, there's no end to him. Doc, how yeah, the chick leg in the back of his grave. It's gonna be dry at the end of the I game. Need a break, Otto. You know, for a robot, you sure do complain a lot. Now let's crank it up a gear. Oh, I ain't a machine. Man, but still. Mr. Torchman, please proceed to the... Oh, earthquake! What? What on earth? Bro, Otto, hurry to me! Protect me, Abolt! to see you again, Light. Wily. Doctor, what's going on? Stand back, everyone. I'll handle this. Mega Man. Hm, this is no time for your heroics. I've simply come to give Doctor Light a message. Then kindly be quick about it. Of course. You see, I recalled some old research. The very invention you so coldly crushed when we were students together. Or has your memory failed you? Our university days. A device. It can't be. How could Lett remember oh, that he's seen I? Your objections wouldn't stifle me forever. I have perfected my design. And now we'll see who was right all along. Dr. Light, what's the ruckus? Mm hmm. Perfect timing. 
The lot of you will make excellent test subjects. Wow! Who are you calling test subjects? Quickly! You must all run and hide! Too late! Be here! My robots! Over here, Light! That speed! What have you done? Dang it! Nobody blocks Black Man! Let those robots go, Dr. Wily! <laughs> I have a better idea! At last, the world will bow down to the genius of Dr. Wily! <laughs> Doctor, I'll go after Wily. Wait, Mega Man! Wily's invention is called the Double Gear System. It's designed to push robots far beyond their normal strength and speed. If he really has completed it, I'm afraid you won't stand a chance. But we can't just let him get away. Mega Man, I can tell you won't be stopped very well. This is the prototype double gear system that Wily developed back Didn't in the Didn't Wily smash that? If I install this into your circuits, you may be able to stop him. But it's dangerous. Double gear places great strain on robot systems. I can take it, Doctor. I want to do this no matter the cost. Hook me up! As you wish. The installation will take some time. There's a lot of work to do. Double gear days. system is fully installed. Mega Man, rise and shine. Go get him, Mega Buddy. And remember, your old pal Otto is here to help out. Mega Man, that dirty Wily won't know what hit him. Mega Man, you're doing a noble thing. Be careful out there. Doctor, roll. Auto. I'll be back soon. Uh, I don't think I need the explanation. I think I'm pretty key on. It's fine. At least they let you skip the tutorials, so you know. That's cool. So, we got our. Uh, obvious squad of idiots here, as always. And I like starting with Blockman because. He was the first one that was showcased and, you know, he's a cool dude. Although I do prefer the name I gave him when I first saw him, which was Brickman, so you know. Brickman is a better name. So, we got a slide, we got a charge shot, and the cool thing is we got a designated slide button this time around. So, that's something fan games have done, like, a long time ago, but this time actually, officially, Elia. And yeah. Wiley actually, for once, I think was kinda right, like, it's just kinda... Why can't we just fucking do both researches, yeah? Just fucking hell. Poor Wiley, honestly. Capcom to finally take inspiration from Magma. <laughs> yeah, finally. It's been a while. So yeah, Blockman stage is all about blocks, obviously. And like... Smashing blocks and falling blocks, obviously, makes sense. Also, Mega's charger got a bit of an upgrade, because it got, it's got shield piercing powers now. Not piercing, but shield wanking powers, I guess. Light acts on high and mighty and like he can do... Yeah, honestly, Light is a bit of a cunt, isn't he? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, honestly, yeah. That is just a cunt. And of, just to get back on the previous uh, uh, message here. Yes, you you can pet roll. She is very pettable. Alright, starting off. Ah, fuck. Okay, uh. PK sucks at Mega Man 11. This is probably what this stream is gonna devolve into in the end. But well, whatever, it's fine. So, I could be using the double gear, or like the, the gear a lot more, but I'm like, eh. I also want to showcase what it's like to not use it a bit. But yeah, like, I guess to showcase we got the power gear that just increases your power far beyond what you could normally shoot. 
And the speed gear just makes you slow mo. So don't lie, so if he never invented Robosoft. <laughs> if he never invented. Didn't. I feel like we had robots before Dr. Light, but sure, let's go with that. <laughs> Alright, it begins. It begins. Can we get to fucking uh 100? Probably not. Probably not. Finally my Twitch is Oh my god, it's Sap, holy shit. If he returns for Sap watches as well, but Twitch I won't lock him in stupid app. Horrible. Well, he didn't get... Yeah, poor Wily. Okay, now we got a bit of a hectic section here. Gotta bust our way through some block structures. Do we get through here? Nice. So yeah, another thing I guess I could mention. Uh, I just summoned Rush without like switching to him. We just got a designated Rush button now. To just summon the Rush Coil whenever we want, which is awesome. So, you know, just so much quality of life changes here, it's it's great. Yeah, there's also these invisi enemies here that just kind of vibe. Because, um, te te we have one hell of a delay, but all in all, what we did works right now. Okay. Uh, okay. Also, I guess it goes without saying, but man, the graphics are beautiful in this game sometimes like ah just looks nice you know just looks nice okay yeah power gear pretty much just lets you do a double charge shot also i suck at using the power gear apparently what the hell ah what else is new maybe the speed gear would be more apt for this then Oh god. Ah! Ah! Mega Man! Don't die on me! Ah! Oh, <laughs> oh boy. I hate this little fella. It's a fake Eddie. Or like, evil Eddie. I don't count it as a one-up drop because that he carried that. So, you know. That's fun. Uh. Yeah, this guy is a bit annoying sometimes because you like gotta time your shots at it. And it's kind of, mm. Right, uh. Hello there. Anti Eddie from the hit game Eddie's World. It's him. It's your boy. Alright, time for this again. Just gotta do that. Ah. Okay. Oh god. <gasps> oh, that was kind of scary. He has an E tank here. Once a free tank, uh, Rush, can, can I position you like here? There we are! Nice! Oh yeah, these gear items, they just help you recharge your gear gauge faster because you can't use the gears all the time, you know? Like, there's like a bit of a cooldown whenever you do that. So, yeah. Just be careful on the gear usage, otherwise you will burn out and can't use them for a while. I don't think there's any other drawbacks to just burning out your gear other than not being able to use it for a while, so... I don't know. I mean, you might want to use them in a the clutch, so just don't burn it out, I guess. Yep. Just jump over that guy, just don't pay him any mind. That worked. No, anti- no! Ah, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that, that could be good for speed gear. Just kinda... Ah... Oh. I love the style night there. That's beautiful. Also implies that we spent the whole day getting through the stage, which uh, you know, embarrassing. Right, brick man, uh, uh, block man. Sorry, force of habit. It's actually kind of a hard boss sometimes, especially once he gets into his like danger phase. Which uh, okay, so he sh jumps when you shoot him, and then he activates his power gear. Which turns him into a fucking giant golem. Which is visually incredibly cool, but also pretty scary because, uh. Yeah. This happens. Yeah. Well, I got some one ups. Let's give it more shots. Well, this is just like when I did the Let's Play, huh? Like 
Technically, you could speed kill him and get out of... Don't uh, have the section of golem. But, I don't know, I'm not good at speed killing him. JP.golem form says boop. That's amazing. That is amazing. Alright, I... Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh. Yeah, it's pretty scary actually, but I guess even with speed gear you could kinda. Uh. Oh god. Ah, fuck. Oh! Oh! It's good, it may sound fucked li horrible. Ah. Alright, let's try that again. Maybe a speed gear is a better compromise here. Maybe. Alright, let's see. Shout us to the mural in the back. The mural is cool. Okay, that was... Oh, come on! Can I slide through? No. I thought I could. Ow. Oh, come on! There we are! Okay, now it gets scary because... Yeah. Now we just kinda gotta... Spam. Against his spam. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh no, oh no, 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 my heart. My fucking heart. Not healthy. So. Another cool thing about Mega Man 11. We get like actually cool armor designs for Mega Man with average special weapon. Like, this is cool. I had an E-Tank? When do I have an E-Tank? I collect... Alright. I didn't want to use the E-Tank. Anyways, we get Brick Dropper. Or Block Dropper. So, yeah. Pretty much what it says, we drop bricks, and with power gear we just drop more bricks. What else is new? And I'm gonna be saving on data 5, don't make me forget. I could go shopping, but... Uh, it's the 500 legacy collection. So, I guess... Next up, we do the tier list before I forget that, so... Blockman stage! What, what, what... Uh... Did I just remove my... What the hell? Okay, whatever. Just... So, breaking. Old Austria does have had it. <laughs> I shit bricks. So... Mm, I suppose... It was pretty solid with like the gimmicks and the blocks and stuff. Did it work pretty well, so I'd say B for Brock. Obviously. What else is new? Right. By that logic, Acid Man should be an A rank. Don't think that will happen, but let's see what happens. So, Acid Man, we got spiders that, if not killed with a charge shot, spawn tiny baby spiders. And then there's these enemies, which drop uh, scientific goop into the water, I guess, and it changes colors. And the color green is the dangerous one, which we've seen at the start of the stage as like a bit of an obstacle to jump over. And blue is totally safe. It's a funny pipe NPC. It's my man. There are some bolts again, because of course we got a shop. And, of course, this is the water stage. What else is new? So, 
So we jump up. Oh god. There we go. Also, I think these are like scrubbers, which is kinda funny. We just kinda scrub everything, I guess. So we go down the tube and get shit out. So the cool thing about the charger, once again, is uh, you can just meme on sniper shows as well, which is just great. Like, you can just meme on them, it's awesome. Oh, that was a good charge shot. So yeah, if we hit that, it turns red. Red is still safe, but red is like the last thing until we get to green and... Yeah, green is danger zone. You don't want it to be green. And you can actually... Uh, yeah, you could destroy the shots with your own buster shots, so... Yeah, that you could do that. Right. So I guess the first gimmick is li like literally the acid changing and stuff, and the second gimmick, I suppose, is water currents. So, sure, dual gimmicks, it works, but they can't really get combined, can they? Also, I don't know why, but the one-up looks so apathetic in Mega Man 11, it's great. Alright, so water physics, obviously, for some platforming. Downwards. Kinda scary. And mid boss. This fucking thing. Yeah, kind of a dick. But it also plays with the currents by swirling this shit around. So that's cool. Come on. Ah. Just drop a block on him. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, Block Drop is actually a quite strong weapon if you use it well, so that's fun. Go down the drain a bit more, and now we go against the current. Some enemies floating towards us. Neat. And in we go. Yoink. And we get shot out again. Lovely. Alright. Now we are in the red territory, where even one drop can spell disaster for us. So, you know, evolution of the gimmick, we're just getting less and less leeway of these idiots hitting the goop. Which is good, because it's getting harder, as the stage should, as it goes on, you know? Makes sense, eh? Sniper Joe, you uh, can't, goodbye. Underwater audio. Yeah, like, they changed the audio a bit while you're underwater, like, to make it more muffled. As you would while you're underwater. Because audio trap is weird underwater. Armor for special weapons, which looks terrible to classical. Yeah, but then don't aid bitify it. Simple as that. Ugh. Could have almost made that jump. Oh, come on. Shield attackers are always a pain, no matter when. Ooh, that was close. The spikes are always... Crowby? What do I mean, Crowby? Tell that time who's going to be vo voting... Oh, God. Then just don't add the armor. Just add the fucking colors. Like, you know... You don't have to... Create the armor if it doesn't look good. Because if it looks like wank, then what's the point, you know? What's the point, eh? Alright, Acid Man! So, he has Acid Shield. Which you gotta take care of, I suppose. Which I did a really good job at, clearly. Well, I still got some lives, that's fine. When they put it on classic 8-bit spread, it looks like one of those Mega Man sprite. E exactly. Okay. It's kind of like Chillman with that shot. No, no, it's actually more aimed. Okay, it's fine. And speed gear, which means this. It's kind of like Oil Man, actually, now. I don't know I think about it. Huh. Interesting. 
Oh god. It's actually not that bad once you don't have fuck all health. Yeah, it's actually a pretty... You could fight him first, honestly. Yeah. Honestly, not that bad of a boss. I got my ass headed to me, sure, but not that bad. Down he goes. I often do for him first. Oh, there we go then. So yeah, acid shield, acid barrier is actually a pretty nice weapon, all things considered. So you know, that's cool. Very cool. Actually, one of the better shield weapons, technically. Uh. Oh yeah, shop obviously. Just gonna, just gonna buy like one. Thank you, Tada. Right. So next up, uh, we gotta raid the stage. I keep forgetting. What the hell is wrong with me? So. Honestly, Man was really solid, even more so than Blockman, I'd say. Yeah. It would be cool if they made him the air-type body. Nah, air-type body sucks. So anyways, time for Impact Man. Don't think, just enjoy. <laughs> My mind is totally elsewhere, like, it, it's weird. So, here we go. It's the guts of the game, I guess. With the construction side. Yep. Maybe, I think, I feel like my mind is just kind of dreading next week, more so than enjoying this week, which is why I'm kind of like, my mind is not working, because next week will suck. So, we got moving platforms as gimmick number one, I guess. Kind of like Gutsman stage, just without the droppy boppy. Gutsman is pile man. Makes sense because, like, his weapon is the pile driver. So, you know. Yeah. Because he is a punch of pile drivers, yeah. What more do you want? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Really? Well, that was just fucking sniped. Oh, come on. There we are. My butt meshing is not on par today somehow. That's fine. I see you get the air, but like, why do I need that right now? I don't. So I guess the second gimmick could be the pie drivers just sometimes appearing in the stage. Sure. 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 We can we can work with that, I guess. Also. This guy, on the bottom. I love this guy. He is my favorite enemy in the entire game. He is so good. Just look at him. I love him. Which is why I feel so bad about killing him now, but I love him. Ark Welder is just the most standable creature in all of Mega Man. It's just so good. So good. Okay. Yoink, yoink, there's some health up here as well, which is very lovely. I think that's his name. At least we don't have the conundrum of not having official names, I think. So, you know. I'm sorry, Ark Welder, I gotta. But yeah, Ark Welder is probably the best enemy ever. He screams, it's alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Entity, by the way. <laughs> so we could just not ride the platforms, but then we gotta deal with the stupid rolly guys, so you know. Either or, we got a challenge on our hands. And more pile drivers! Ow. It's a living. Sure is. That was a pretty dynamic section for the pile drivers. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. Ow. Okay. Now this guy... Yeah. 
It's interesting attack pattern, I guess. I think you gotta do this now to just kinda... Yeah. Actually, Block Dropper might be good here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just not bother. <laughs> gotta refill Block Dropper, why not? Come on. Alright. And now we got like the big room of the stage, I guess. Kinda like in Springman, where there was like one big room that had like the ultimate challenge or something. Which makes sense, I guess. That was lucky! Oh boy. Alright, just gonna do a little shortcut here, because you can do that. Which is fun. Oh, I want that. Thankfully, these are only top solid. Otherwise, I'd be kind of fucked there. Uh, goodbye. Yeah, once again, showing Block Dropper is awesome. Oh, hello. Random item. Uh, that is have. Ah, dang it. There was an E tank there. I wish I could have gotten that. Ah, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Now. Uh, yeah, honestly, the stage still meh, still has a lot of waiting, sadly, which not too big on. Ow. Again, let this try to spice it up with the impact with the pile drivers here. Also, there's sometimes a black one, which I'm, I don't get, but like, it's just here for the ride, I guess. But I don't know. Still feels a bit too slow. It's kind of like an auto scroll that, that goes on for too long, you know? Uh, uh. Ooh, hell yeah. I mean, yeah, but you think I know what to do? God fucking damn it, no. Uh, come on. Don't block my block. What the hell? <laughs> this fucking guy. I think Acid Barrier can destroy this guy? No. Okay. My bad. Ah, fuck. Black one. Oh, it's his head. Okay. Now, this is kind of fun. Pretty fun. And this is also just satisfying. Just oh, carnage. Like, this is great. And some free health. Before the fight. Alright, let's see how I fare against Impact, man. That should be interesting. Maximum impact. Oh, okay. So, yeah, he, he does that a lot. Okay, cool. Whoa. Yeah, he definitely is like the guts. Uh, too close. <laughs> and power gear, okay. Gets more pile drivers and just giant explosion. Ah. Wow. Okay. Oh, come on. Ugh. God, the fucking earthquake effect when he lands is so bad. Go away. Please go away. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. Ah, that sucked. God damn it. <sighs> God dang it. Impact Man gave you a hug. Would have rather not de had that. Oh! Okay, the jump shit. I think I got. Uh... Oh, you can still hit him while dead. Okay, that's cool. Now he does the power gear. <laughs> Run! Okay. Quick! Get out! Get out of here! And... Goodbye. Ooh, right in the head!
And we get the speedrunner's favorite weapon. Pile driver. Yeah, it's just a quick dash and it's hella strong as well, so you know. Just bliss for a speedrunner. Okay, sure? Yeah, just give me another one up, I guess. There you go. Right then, uh, I love how fast the uh, shop is as well, that's just great. Okay, so, Impact Man. <sighs> that's a bit weaker, I'd feel. Nothing fundamentally wrong, but it's just. Felt a bit more spammy with enemies and nothing much else. Oh well. Let's go to... I wish I were Springman. Also known as Bounce Man. Because I don't think you will be Springman, I'm sorry man. But it's a very bouncy stage with a lot of bouncy-licious stuff to do. And lots of bouncing to do on the bouncy balls. And yeah, that's just... yeah. Very bouncy. This Japanese name is the best worst thing in the game. Really, no? Oh, come on. Fucking rubber man. That is amazing. I love rubber man now. Okay. Don't forget to wear rubber man. <laughs> hey! Ow. So we got the. the oh, wait. Ah, fuck. So we got the hand slapper that just kind of pumps you across the room. Got bouncy balls, also as enemies. Just kind of bounces when you hit them. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I feel like this tried to captivate the Springman vibe of just bouncing around and having fun, but I don't think it does that very well. Is it probably? S what is it? I mean. Yeah, the, the Western people are just that messed up in the head that they always think of the sex. That's how it is, eh? So one up there, which you could probably get with Pile Driver if you were good, which I'm not. So I'm not gonna bother. That's why I bought the one up earlier. I can just kind of ignore the other guy, nice. Right, uh... So here we don't want to get hit by the punt gloves. Because they would just punt us back. Uh... Hi. Goodbye. The toy book. That, that is true. Like, visually the stage is nice. But... Stage design wise, it's just kinda. Good luck on the bouncing. Shit ass. Just kinda too chaotic. Like, Springman was still calculatable. This. probably still is, but it's like. Mm, not as much. Oh, come on. Just, just rush it, honest. Uh, rush, please. There we go. And time for frog. Because frog. And this guy is pretty much the actual mini boss. Kind of like in uh, Yamato Man stage. Actually, almost exactly like Yamato Man stage with the guy riding the. F ah! Except that this doesn't happen. Oh well. Fireworks. At least fireworks. Sounds. I didn't see any fireworks there. I got scammed. Some health here, which is nice. And up and downs. That just kind of punt you across the room. Yeah, you can tell this stage is all about punting you out somewhere and just kind of memeing on you. Which I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that, honestly. It just kind of feels like it's more annoying than fantastical fun spring adventures. So, you know. Alright. Oh, e bloody 
Goodbye. Like, the only actual Evil Eddie instance I know is in Blockman stage. Other than that, I'm not sure. So, yeah, Pile Driver can actually kill the uh, Gabioles, so that's cool. Yeah, this. Uh, I just. No! Oh. oh god, hi. Uh, well, that's a mess. <laughs> Yeah, these balloons can only be killed by charge shots, so goodbye no charge shot runs, I guess. Technically it works, but... Uh, more annoying that way. So let me just... Bounce. Oh, that was nice. Oh no, that was that was unnice. Rush, please. There we go. Oh, come on. That should have counted. Ah, whatever. Okay. Now I want the E tank. Oh come on, I I know I can get it. Yeah! <laughs> oh fuck. And I can do the, the entire room again. Fucking yeah. Yeah, you see what I mean? This is just. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> My God. Okay. <sighs> Ay ay ay. Bouncy ball's too powerful, please nerf. Honestly, though. That's what I think. And now we fight the mid boss again, except on a bouncy surface, which actually changes him up quite a bit. So, you know, that's kind of fun, actually. Just kind of makes him extremely annoying to hit, so. Block dropper to the rescue, though, because it's awesome. And just kind of skip that with rush. Pie driver. Oh yeah, I guess you could do that. Oh, okay. This is like the big room of the stage again. Kind of like with Impact Man, but the background here. Oh, it looks nice. It looks nice. That wasn't nice. That was like anti nice. Right. Ah. Go, die, okay. Yoink, yoink, there we are. Oh no, I think this is the big. I guess so many big rooms in this stage, like, Springman had the good balance of only one big room. This, it's too much. Overexposure of big rooms. Just makes it feel too big of a stage, you know. Like sure, long Mega stations can work, but I feel like there's this, there's a time when it's getting too long. Also, this is kind of dickish. And then you gotta do this again. Okay. You could destroy some of the balloons, but like whatever. There we go. Now I just kind of gotta weave up there. There we are. Nice. Oh fuck my. Arm. Oh, okay, come on. Try it again. I wanted the health, but I guess I can't. Why well, don't know bouncy balls with cool colors? Yeah, it's always the same color, which is kinda. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Feels a bit bland. But here we are. So, Bounce Man. It's kind of like Min Min, actually, from Smash, which is kind of annoying. Just kind of long arms, stretchy arms, and yeah. But you can actually kind of... Oh god, this is scary now. Yeah, obviously Bounce Man would use Speed Gear. Oh, that was... Oh, come on! It's like when the fucking DVD logo hits the corner, that's not fair. <laughs> The artificial color is just there to make it look different, so to trick your taste buds. Yeah, and when I use... That's for the refights. That's for the refights. Oh god. Uh, okay. I guess don't stay under him? Something? I don't know. Oh. Okay. 
Ah. Come on. Honestly, like, chaotic fight, sure, but could be worse. Got that. Like, we go ahead, good bounce, Miss Spreader, right? Ah, no. I wasn't there when that happened. I gotta buy some more one ups after this, I feel. Flattened me with my, his ass. Yeah, honestly, fat ass. The fattest robot master. Ow. Oh, come on. Stop using your ass on me. Not fair. You're too thick. Too thick. God damn it. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm not feeling that stage, really. It just feels too annoying. At least the weapon is pretty fun. What was it called again? The screen saver is just possible, possible. <laughs> yes, that would be funny. That would be funny. Bounce ball, that's very generic, generic. But, yeah, just bounce balls. Chaotic, fun, what more do you want? Doctor, is something wrong? The double gear system. It was so very long ago. It was on that day, Wiley and I had our falling out. He quite literally threw a wrench in our gear. Ah! We were students then, each pursuing robotics research in our own way. Each of us was passionate about forging the way ahead. To a future where humans and robots might live together in harmony. By giving robots independent thought, they could be true partners to humankind at last. Naive as always. Even robots that think for themselves will never be anything more than tools. But with unstoppable power, insurmountable speed, it's only when we build robots with the power to outdo humans that people will truly accept robots for what they are. And with my double gear system, we can make that dream a reality. With this installed, any robot can instantly become a hero. However, I was strongly opposed to Wiley's ideas and research. The double gear system, it puts an incredible strain on the robots that use it. And if it fell into the wrong hands, it could be used to cause terrible harm. At the time, a committee was convened, and Wiley's research was cancelled. In favor of my independent thought research, Wiley never forgave me, and his views have grown ever more extreme since then. How ironic that my efforts to quench Wiley's hot-headedness before it led him astray only ended up fueling the fire. Doctor, I never knew. If only I'd shown him there was a way to work together instead of just telling him that he was wrong. Maybe we'd still be friends. A way to work together. Even the double gear system can be a tool for good, if used properly. But using it properly requires proper judgment. Wiley's dream of developing technology to make any robot into a hero could become reality if used by you. I'm trusting you, Mega Man. Oh, I almost forgot something very important. I've just finished giving Rush a good tune-up. He's all ready to head out with you. Rush! Rush, help Mega Man and keep him safe. Be a good boy now. 
We've got this, Rush. Okay, let's go. Yeah, Wiley did nothing wrong, honestly. Poor guy. Poor fucking guy. <sighs> yes. Give me some more one ups. Alright. So, Bounceman Stage. Okay. Now then. You remember when I told you about Tornado Man and him being the trailer theme? Say hello to Tornado Man 2. Yep, that's literally the trailer theme. Oh well, the other way around, I guess. Anyway, oh. Well, that's mean. So yeah, the electric stage of this game, obviously. Oh, hey, Bat. Goodbye. I got some tellies that have some electric aura around them. This was the first revenge I went on. Huh. How did that go? Horrible. I get kind of so confused. <laughs> Aw. You know, I, I, for me it still works as the Fusement theme and the trailer theme. Like, it works for both. Kind of like with Tornado Man, you know? Kind of works for both sides. I mean, I get, I, I can understand what you mean. I got some. Oh god. Well, I, I totally hesitated there, didn't I? Okay. Magma Fuse announcement trailer used this to kind of. <laughs> but okay, I didn't take that one. So here's a funny thing you can do. Kind of totally fuck it up with bounce ball here. Kind of funny. It's gonna show us that the weaknesses can actually be useful in the stages as well this time around, which is cool. Yeah, this feels more like a stealth thing. And I'm just reminded of the stupid magma, uh, magma for the hour thing. Jesus. Uh, why must you guys torture me with that? That was. That was painful. Uh. Ow. Well, at least I don't get caught this time, I just get damaged. It's kind of fun. The stealth section, the one in the kitchen. Yeah, now you remember. The fun zone. <laughs> okay, this guy's cool, he's got shades. Truly a, a cool zone guy. The coolest guy. Mega Man kills a Jamaican squid robot. Poor guy. Now oh, we got some goodies here. Nice. Ugh. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Wait. Yoink. Yoink. Uh, I guess I can just... Well, that doesn't help me. Yeah, I really just got a platform through it. Shade put head dreadlocks. Oh my god. Some cool stuff with like chaining the stuff together, which I guess makes sense with like fuse man, you know, like fuses chaining. Actually, kind of cool. Didn't realize that until now. And here's our big guy for the game. I guess he he can punt country as well, which is fucking great. Why can everyone punt country in this game? That's so annoying. Horrible. Ow. Oh jeez. Well, bad. This is an adventure now. I'm just gonna hide here and then run. There we go. Okay. Yoink. Yoink. Okay. Nice. Well, solid. Then just this. 
which is just a bit of a de-evolution, but I guess it's before the boss fight, so it's fine. It's fine. Right then. Fuse man! Let's see what you can do. Ow. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he u he, he uses speed. Yeah, speed here. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. <laughs> that was great. This man gets protected on superhero mode. As is to be expected from a superhero mode, eh? Because that's just hard mode at this rate. Ow. Ow. Oh, the... Oh, the little sparks on the side, like on the walls, that's... That's what makes this fight annoying. Alright, let's... Oh my god. Uh. Ah. Okay. Oh, now he fires two shots, okay. Guess he's getting get kinda desperate, I guess. Die! I've sent since two or three of the first pick. Oh god! You got something else. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. Oof. Alright. Hectic fight, but that's to be expected from an electric boss, eh? They're always a bit wank. It's just how it is. It could emo. Scramble Thunder is... it's alright. It's an like situationally useful, but yeah. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's so good. Okay, are you sure? Okay. So, Fuseman stage? Honestly, I'd say that was a good attempt. It was pretty fun. I think that deserves a B. Of Blunt Muncher. Sure. Right then, next up. The only Roadmaster I really don't like in this game, Tundra Man. Like, the beta design was really cool. Like, this. I think it was like this Russian big dude. And I really like that. But then we just we get this flamboyant asshole and I don't like that at all. Just yeah, horrible. Oh well, we're here to rank the stage, not my opinions on the design. And yeah, obviously it's the ice stage of the game. Because we need that. Of course we got ice physics. What else? What else is new? I went there Because no women exist. No women allowed. You're pissing off a ton of people with an opinion. I don't care. It's an opinion. I can have my opinion. <laughs> you know? Like, that's what an opinion is. Up, oh, and we got the Blizzard winds. Hey, like the Tundra winds, I guess. But yeah, like, even the name Tundra man, that just sounds more like. A big, bulky Russian man that just kinda kicks your ass and eats some vodka. I don't know. I don't know. I just really don't agree with the design choices here. Tundra is basically Metaton. Exactly. And it's just... I don't know. It doesn't fit the Tundra feeling, I'd say. Actually, just as a... Possible uh, before I haven't used it. Eats vodka. Dude, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm just kinda saying things, you know? Like, when else? When What else is new, you know? Should've got Beta Chilman. Who was. Yeah, Beta Chilman was cool. But I think Beta Tundraman was actually also like, pretty much dead. If I remember correctly. Like, I, I remember something like that, anyway. So here we got this guy who was just carrying a uh, fucking mammoth with him, for some reason. I mean, sure. 
Ow. Potato liquid goes brr. Yeah. Alright. Just... He eats the vodka bottle, glass and all. Yeah. In Soviet Russia, vodka eats you. Or something. I don't know. Ow. Might be able to use Scramble Father to hit the mini boss a bit easier. Actually, it is designed to be able to do that, maybe. Huh. To my boss, I like drinking raw vodka. He was shaming me for that, such a pussy. God, I once drank, like, raw vodka. Just tasted like those hospital cleansers. Like, it just tasted like a hospital. It was fucking disgusting. Ugh. I mean, you do you, you know? I'm just not... I'm not a Russian. What do you expect? But hey, there's a... Wii tank. I get it. It's a W tank, you just get weapon energy. What do you want? You can just kinda skip the sniper, Joe. It's great. And, uh... Do this room, sure. You. Yeah, these are just tanky enemies, for the sake of being tanky, I guess. Ow. And we got the obligatory long, tall room, I guess. I don't know. Prepare to jump you and everything, Kojo. Yeah, he tried, but he wasn't fast enough. Well, this is a good bold farming spot, I guess. It's kind of funny. I guess we go left, because left is always, uh, not right. Well, I go by weapon energy. I didn't need you anyway, Barker. Alright, this is, uh, the hectic part now. Yeah. Yoink. Yoink. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. That's what I thought would happen. Uh, I got the E-Tank, though. That's what I wanted. And I mean, there's a one-up up there, so I guess... We're fine? I don't know. Ow. Okay. Come on. That was pretty perfectly timed. Okay. <laughs> Poor Joe. Oh, yeah, great. Random item right in the fucking spikes. Yeah, I love it. Fucking love it. Always a pleasure, eh? Alright. Yank. And tall room again. We return to your regularly scheduled tall room. Guess I'll take this path now because web energy. I guess we can kill these guys. Alright. Let's not get the E-Tank this time because it's probably already gone, so let's go. That went well. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's basically Freezeman 2 Frosty Boogaloo. Yeah, but with wind that kind of annoys you. Yeah, Freezeman stage was way better than this, honestly. It's just a bit... Mm. Doesn't really offer much. Ah! That was... Oh god. How the fuck did I not get hit there? That was... Clutch. No, the bolt! Ah, oh, whatever. It's fine. Okay. Just let the wind do its thing and jump at the last second. It's just dumb hook jumps, honestly, and I hate hook jumps. Yoink! Yoink! 
Yoink. Yoink. Okay, there we are. <sighs> so only backstory. Ah. Because I remember something like that. Oh, shut up. So, yeah. It's kind of like Top Man, honestly, with that shit. Or Anchor. But at least he's more telegraphed than Anchor, so... You know. It's fine. Speed gear, which is gonna... Oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> Eat shit! Ah, that was gotta go. So oh boy. Phew. Huh. <laughs> it's truly Anchor's revenge. Uh. Toru is a Cossack bot. Cossack kind of. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, it actually is, what the fuck. So anyways, uh, what's it called? Tundra Storm is your regular scheduled screen loop. But only on Power Gear mode. Yeah. Right, save. It's so By a one-up. Forgot measure. Got a lot of bolts now, which is cool. Right, uh, Tundra Man. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Make this quick and say no. Okay. Next up, Torchman. He's on fire. Also, he's a martial artist, which is a fun little thing. I love those hiker mats on the on the side there. That is great. So, I guess the gimmicks here are tents, these mushrooms, the owls, oh, there's a lot of gimmicks this time around, huh? Super generic. He's fireman too, I mean, yeah. So, if you kill the owls, you, uh, it gets darker, so you don't want to kill the owls, but you might want to kill the owls because they're annoying, but, like, I don't know. It's, it's your choice, I guess. And also we got this, which mm, it sure is. It's just your it's kind of like an auto scroll, but not. And it's just I don't know. Just gotta run, you know. Just gotta run, man. It's the funny fire. These enemies heat the floor there, which is a pretty cool idea. And yeah, this is one of the rooms where you don't want to kill the owls, I think, because if you do, it gets extremely dark and you can't see shit. So, don't, I guess. Okay. Okay. One up over there. If you already figured out the mushroom enemies, I guess. The enemy hiding in a tent. And we get uh, someone called Tag because this is like a phoenix. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna just... There we go. Oh, I almost burned out my power gear there, that's not good. But yeah, Tundra Man's... Uh, Tundra Storm thingy... Pre... 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 Blah, blah, blah. It's pretty useful in this stage, especially in the fire sections, where you get chased by the fire, because... You can actually freeze the fire for a short time, and that gives you some time to get ahead of it. Might be useful in some certain circumstances. Like if you wanted to get the W tank, which I don't really. Like I might come say oh god. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the places where it's definitely useful just to don't die, I guess. Yeah. Yes, the berry works to the turkey. Oh, I mean I guess because it's like a sort of liquid. Sure. I can buy that. I will believe that. So, a tank there. Yeah. 
Right, let's uh, go now and go back. Get that D tag. Those flowers are from. Yeah, they probably do. Like, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Don't want to get too far away from them, you know. Kind of defeat the purpose, eh? Once again, don't kill the arts, I guess. Also, this is where I can easily get the achievement of kill a certain number of enemies with one charge shot, because that is an achievement. So, you know, those spiders are a great source of that. Oh god, uh, that was a mistake. Oh my god. Yeah, speed can might also be useful if you don't have thunderstorm. So, just as another suggestion. Okay. Uh. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, thunderstorm, good for the stage. <sighs> nice. Alright, Torchman, let's see what you do. Actually, kind of reminds me of Magma Dragoon in a sense with those fighting things. Like those jump kicks and stuff. Actually, yeah, definitely reminds me of Magma Dragoon now that I think about it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Whoa, okay. Ah. Ah. Oh, holy shit. Ah, god. Now, now it just gets faster. Ow. Ow. Oh. 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 That was something. But yeah, now we get... Blazing Torch! It's a pretty cool weapon. Especially on Power Gear mode. That's just cool. So yeah. That was a very hectic stage, but I mean, what do you expect in the Burning Forest? Okay, I don't even need to buy anything right now. I'm, I'm stocked on 1-ups right now. That's cool. So... Torchman was definitely a solid stage, I'd say... I think it might be the... Yeah. Yeah. Very solid. Right then, uh... And now for the last one, who I absolutely think looks like fucking Axel from Mega Man X7. Blast Man. You can't tell me you don't see it. <laughs> looks like fucking Axel. Blastman Adventure. Love this man. <laughs> yeah, Blastman is fun. It's just fun. Madness, explosives, what more do you want? And with Blazing Torch, you can pretty much skip entire sections of the stage if you're good enough. But I'm not gonna do it, gonna, because I wanna showcase all the stages. No Mega Man game has had an S rank. Yes! So? It's critically ranking for a reason, you know? Like, I don't think any game ever deserves, like, an actual s rank because every game has problems. Like, even, like, something like Mother 3 or Xenoblade Chronicles has problems. And I'm definitely willing, absolutely willing to admit that stuff. Because a perfect game just doesn't exist. If it did, we wouldn't need to make any more games, you know? Like, no point. Just go home. Let me game to the stage. Yeah. That just... Like... Once again, there can't be a perfect stage, technically, but 
If there were, I would definitely be willing to give it that award. <laughs> exactly, Osako! Yes! Yes. Yes. So yeah, this is a bit of an annoying mid-boss. I just like this section though. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I don't think that's the intended. Maybe Scramble Thunder? I guess Scramble Thunder kind of works. Oh, this might work. Just. Wow, I literally. Wow. Games are art. Perfect art is impossible. Yeah, thank you. Like, I just. I mostly just put the asterisk there to just have like a guide of like it could always be better, but it's never gonna reach that spot. It's supposed to knock the Ungas. Is that their name? Is that their fucking name, Ungas? Really? God, I fucking hate this. Uh, Ungas. No. Oh. <laughs> I thought they were called Ungas now, and I was like, that would be funny. But yeah. The topic of S rank is a very debatable one, but personally, I don't think an S rank will ever happen. If it does, I will be genuinely surprised, but yeah, no, don't think that would ever be the case. So this invites us as Kid Icarus stream. Bungus. Kid Icarus? What? I feel like I'm missing something here. But these little shits are kind of annoying, honestly. Killed one of the enemies, Ungas. Which enemy? I'm curious now. Like, did, you mean uprising, I'm guessing. And yes, oh. Huh. Definitely feels like a slur. And not a good one. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Uh, what the fuck is that steel stuff? Oh, those exist in Uprising too. Except for the selling stuff, too. Like, they just steal your shit and don't give it back. So, uh, uh, Plutons, I think they were called, actually. Just annoying assholes. I feel like I'm missing something in that room. Come on. Can't wait for Mega Man X where I can actually start playing well again because Jesus Christ. I'm just sucking lately there for some reason. Okay, maybe Blazing Torch can do something cool here. That that wasn't something cool, that was just Yeah, that might work. Yeah, that should work, definitely. Oh yeah. I cursed myself now. I mean, I pretty much curse myself whenever I hit the stream button, honestly. Like... 
I just never play well, honestly, when I'm actually recording something or trying to show something off. It's just a let's play curse, you know? You know that? You just get cursed. And as soon as you hit the record button, you just suck. You just suck. Okay, you won that. There we are, my god. And when ever shows you a game, I just shows you a passcode screen. That's true. Alright, let's refill Blazing Torch, I guess, even though I probably won't be using it for the boss, but, you know. Maybe for the rest of the stage I might need it. Or want it. You're going to game over to Chill Penguin. Yeah. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? No, that would just be embarrassing, I'll be honest with you. Like, highly embarrassing. Okay. Uh, I guess that works. Oh, okay. I mean, sure. <laughs> sure. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a speed gear moment. Definitely. There we are. Thank you, Sniper Joseph. Yank. Oh god, more Ungos. More Ungos. Oh, this seems perilous now. Yeah, I just... Uh, it's fine. It's fine. My god, this stage. It's interesting, though, how you can use the Ungos to just attack other enemies. It's kind of interesting. Okay, checkpoint, I guess. Feel the explosion. Thank you. Ah, why did I do that already? Oh, fuck. Well, that's, uh... Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. <laughs> Who dares to DM me at this hour? Or just ping me? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Right, let's try that again. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I was wondering where the Ungas were on that fucking screen. <laughs> Game, you're coming, you're becoming predictable. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh, okay. Kinda acting like grenade man here, just more upgraded. Except for that. Ah fuck. Yeah, this should be scary now with power gear. Oh god, yeah. Whoa. 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 Boss Buster. Oh, I never bust only all the bosses, actually. <laughs> well, there we go. I did that. <laughs> nice. Whew. Whew. Chaotic fight, but actually pattern based a lot. So that's fun. Whew. Whew. And we get our bomb weapon. So, you know. Blast bomb, I'm guessing? Last one? Alright, I don't remember. I was gonna go. Ah. Chain Blast! Oh, I was way off. But yeah, Chain Blast! You can just chain the bombs together, actually. And they form a big explosion. Like that, yeah. Or you just power gear and just don't give a shit. Otto, do you have any idea where Wily's gone to? He's totally vanished, Mega Buddy. Maybe he decided to turn tail and run. Huh? What is it, Otto? Uh, there's someone hijacking our signal. C could it be? Who else would hijack your signal? 
My team is neither runs nor highs. Wily. Light and you, Mega Man. How dare you use my double gear system? Now you've crossed the line. I'll turn you into scrap myself. I'm at point E1685578. Come to my gear fortress. I'll be waiting for you. Gear fortress? That's all we needed. I'm heading out, Dr. Light. Hmm. It's time to finish. <laughs> yes, Adam. Mega Man. It's up to you to stop Dr. Wily. Uh. Yes, sir. You can do it, Mega Man. Mega, be careful out there. Okay. All right. End game time. You stand on the threshold. Okay, Which means sure? buying a lot of shit. Ta -da! Are you sure? 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 Actually, let me buy some e tanks sure? before I. You can only wi buy have six e tanks, which is weird, but it's fine. So what else we got? Uh, energy pellets, uh, spike boots, shock absorber, energy dispenser, buster plus two hundred charge, mystery chip, body cord, tank container. Oh, well, yes. Okay, Mega. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Ta-da! Are you sure? sure? Ta-da! Yeah, that's kind of a meme, isn't it? But yeah, we bought our stock. Now it's time to get fucking serious. Like it appear on the screen, they say, Water is wet and leave! I love that idea so much! Right, Blastman, uh, that's a C, I'd say. It's chaotic, like there's some cool stuff, but it's a bit too much. The shop were rolls on a roll. Absolutely. Yeah. Alright. Now it's time to enter the gear fortress. <laughs> the final Wily Castle. I don't want to say ever because who knows if Mega Man 12 will happen, but right now it is. So let's head on to who the MP. Maybe my own head is dead people also making the e-grab to choke. We know. <laughs> Alright, anyways, let's just, let's go now. So I guess the gimmick here is moving platforms, or like rotating platforms, hey! New gimmicks in the Wily stage? What madness is that? Like, what the hell? That's new. It's, it's a simple gimmick, but it's, it's a new gimmick, like what the hell? What's going on here? They're putting effort into the wildest stage, what? Horrible. How dare they? Okay. Whoa. Ow. Okay, so more platformies. Yoink. Yoink. You can just kind of skip everything in that room, huh, can't you? Oh yeah, these things collapse, so, uh, cool. Might as well, huh? Nice. Block dropper just proving to be useful as fuck. Oh god. Woo! 
Yeah, acid shield, acid barrier might actually be very useful here. Because it blocks a lot of shots, so, you know. Might consider equipping that and deploying that. Oh god, ah. How in the fuck did I survive that? Somehow I did. Okay. It's just that. Uh, yeah. Movement, please. And of course. Yeah. Yeah. Can't have a Mega Man game with audio blocks. Why? I can never escape the pain, can I? But you did. It's called Mega Man 8. Oh, wait, really? I guess you're right. I guess in my mind, always Astro Man was kind of Yoko blocky, but you're right, you're right. Okay, but then again, uh, Game Boy Games. This Game Boy has more experience. Let's take this out. Jesus. We're all fucking old, aren't we? Ancient guys. That was a fun scramble thunder usage. That was fun. Okay. Speaking of scramble thunder, also useful here. That was great. Oh my god. Oh boy. I'm just totally zoning out right now, I feel. Oh, come on! What, what's wrong? What's going on with my head right now? Jesus. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, absolutely zoning out. I don't think it's Scramble Father that's you doing that to me. It's just that I'm not paying attention anymore for some reason. I don't know why. Scary. Uh. All right, let's just do that then, I guess. I guess we deploy a new shield just in case the old one was old. There we are. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh boy. Uh, uh. Oh wow, that's kind of scary. You think with the gear motive that is some kind of... Locked our stage. Yeah, true, but then again, that might just tint you in on like, oh, time travel and stuff, which I don't think they wanted again. Which I can totally understand. Like, we've had enough time travel with Mega Man Game Boy 2. That was more than enough. Stupid Quint. Goodbye. Sniper Joseph. Ah, yeah, this is the big room. I guess. Just gonna deploy an acid shield and hope for the best. 
Well, I hoped at least. God. It's a big stretch. I mean, I guess, but like clocks and stuff, that's like... I don't know. My mind is weird, it's fried, I, I'm not thinking straight anymore, you know. Not sure why that jump didn't work. Yeah, that one didn't work because I was impatient. Okay. There we are. Fucking shunting me over. I guess it's more so that I'm thinking of Time Man with that, you know? And Time was very much associated with time travel and time research. And he was like in a clock tower. That's probably where my mind was going. So, you know. That's how that game went. My mind is an enigma, what more can I say? There we are. Okay, let's hope this works now. Oh, come on. Should be refilled. Okay, there we are. My god. And so close before the end as well. Just just my luck, huh? Just my luck. We'll be having the hoax color. Hulke. Okay. Finally at the boss, which is also a fucking train wreck. Yellow Devil Mark 3, because we needed a fucking third one, huh? Yeah, that would work. Now the meme begins. Ow. Just gonna do that. Uh, chain blast again. Okay. How did I dodge that? There we go. Spider-Man. Huh. Oh, true. Weird. <sighs> Fucking yellow devil, as always. At least we can always take a break. Okay, Mega. What are you sure? Sure, let's refill on that. Are you sure? And especially refill on my one-ups, because Jesus Christ, I got fucking bald by that stage for some reason. Right. Let's save. Right. So, Yellow Devil Mark 3. The stage was... 
the stage itself wasn't even that bad. I just sucked. But Yellow Devil again. Come on, guys. Come on. Again. Anyways, moving on. Gear Fortress 2. I can just imagine when the tiny Yellow Devil wants to make the slushing. Uh, sloshing, sloshing. Oh, yeah. Foreshadowing. Anyways, uh. So, Gear Fortress 2. Got some conveyor belts. Always. Oh, that is sneaky. I didn't even see you there. Holy shit. That was clever. Or oh, I'm just blind, which might also be the case. I don't know. I'm not just. Not bother with the Ungas here. One up drop! Yo! Doesn't even matter, but yo! So that's number 87! As I said, doesn't even matter, but hey, we're getting a bit higher, slowly. But here we have Auto Scroller. The. Oh. Thank you! Uh, just jumping into spikes, Mega. Mega Man. My name is Mega! Mega Man! I have no ears! Okay. Let's try it again. Without dying this time, huh? Yeah, this might also be another good application of speed gear. Or damage boosting. Sure. I know. Huh? Or just not getting hit like an idiot. How about that, huh? Oh, come on. Rush coil it and get out of here. There we go. Regarding speed gear. Yeah. And there's an upgrade to the room stone. Yeah, but like, it's not necessary. I don't know. Like, I guess it's like for reaction time and stuff, so. Yeah. Come on. Shoot! There you go. Jump. Yoink, yoink. More sniper. Well, that was just rude. That was just rude. And I get to. Oh, all the way back? Have I heard of checkpoints, guys? Oh, what the hell? Used it to one. Checkpoint machine broke. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Just need to get past this guy, come on. Oh, hello. Okay. Like, this would be a fine checkpoint room, honestly, but no, I guess not. Huh. Just weird, I guess. Just weird. Wait, can- yes, I could, but like, I don't wanna waste Blazing Torch, you know, especially because I apparently keep dying, so I'm like, don't wanna waste it too much, you know. Alright, Savage up. This is where the budget ran out, yeah, but then again, it's very in character for Mega Man games, because the Wily Castle always kind of sucks, doesn't it? Just kind of like the average rule. Stages can be cool, but come Wily Castle and we're like, yeah, I don't know what to do anymore. It's like they don't know how to make it harder without making it stupid.
Uh, oh well. Now what would I need to refill? I guess chain blast, sure. And pile driver. Cool. There we go. They always run out a bit much in the time because it's the end of the game. Yeah, it's weird how it always happens. Like, you'd think they learn, but I guess Mega Man games are always kind of the clutch. The purest clutch, somehow. It's weird. It's certainly weird. Oh well. At least there was an attempt here. In like making it cool and interesting with like the chase sequence and stuff, but oh well. But yeah, you better know about Power Gear Chain Blast for that, or else you'd be dead. Speaking of, might as well do it again. Because it was so fun the first time. Okay. Checkpoint, nice. I guess we refill Chain Blast. Oh, right. Conveyor belts. That's a thing. It's the punt counter. Oh god, there's another one. Just kinda came out of nowhere, what the hell? Oh, come on! Now you're just memeing on me. Jesus Christ. Came from the pit of hell. Yeah, that's where he should be. So he should stay. Okay. And now it's time to go up. I can believe visually this is a cool section, but Jesus Christ. Speed gear! Okay. Oh boy. It's kind of stressful. Not gonna lie. Ah, more ungos. I'll be very really careful right now about the ungus. Oh god. See you again. Goodbye. No ungus? No, nothing there? Okay, cool. Oh boy. Oh, there we are. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill the boss with that little health and I uh, don't feel like using E-Tank, so I'm just gonna let myself be killed here. But I think I actually original boss idea. Wow, whatever else. Right, I think he's weak to a combination of bounce ball and pile driver. If I'm not mistaken. Use bounce ball to bust him open and then pile driver to just bust into his face. I think. Yeah, that, that works. That checks out. If I could actually aim. Which I can't. Okay. Sure. Boss boss better overall. Well, fine enough. Got more ammo of that anyways. Don't have much of a pile driver left and I don't feel like using my, my W tank. So, you know. That's fun. I don't know if it's better overall, it doesn't really do that much damage. But it bounces, so it's like... Immediately more fun. Also, this thing can teleport for some reason. And it fires a giant Master Spark laser for some reason. Which, uh... We all need to get our kicks, eh? Yeah, we are. Ugh. Hey, yeah, yeah. Huh. Right, uh, I should buy first and then save. Okay, are you sure? Are you sure? Ay, ay, ay. 
Yeah, the game showers you on bolts, which is nice, I guess. Right. Uh, there. So, Marvin stage. I think it was better than the Yellow Devil stage, but not by a lot. Right then, uh, Gear Fortress 3. Gear Fortress 3, huh? That's, uh, it's barely a stage. That's what I can say about it. Oh, oh come on, game, now you're just bribing me again. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. 88, can we at least end on 88 as a nice number? Base. Base just died. Also, where's Proto Man? Proto Man also kinda dead. But it's boss rush time, so yeah, time for me to explain badly why everyone is weak against stuff. So yeah, Brickman is weak against Chain Blast because, well, blow up bricks, obviously. It's kinda explosive on the brick, but I mean, what, what more do you want? Uh. Come on, explode. There we are. Oh, come on. We're fine. Ow. Okay. Alright. And the health is in the boss rush room, not in the not dropped anymore, which is interesting. Fuse man! It's weak against Bounce Ball! Because well Robert doesn't conduct electricity, I guess, and he hates that I guess, probably. Just makes the fight even more chaotic, which is fun. Love the pure inspiration and Blockman's voice. Yeah, like, you can tell he, he's just like, come on man, just die, just die. Poor guy. Yeah, <laughs> yes, nice. Tundra Man is weak against Scramble Thunder because it goes along the ground and he's a ground boss. Grounded boss. Like you'd think he'd be weak against a fire weapon, which is probably I think is also what I thought originally, but not nah, he ain't. I, mean, I guess it's like he's frozen water, so frozen water conducts electricity better than I don't know. I like beats eyes because of thunder. Right, right, now. Acid Man is weak against Brick Dropper because I don't know. Like maybe it breaks his beakers or something if he doesn't. He's pissed. Huh. <laughs> Why are your dying words chemistry? <laughs> What? <laughs> you can't just have your dying words be chemistry. Come on, man. <laughs> that is stupid. Whatever. Torchman is weak against Tundra Storm because cold, frozen water. Yeah. And he just punts me. Oh, come on. Oh, that was really close. He almost jumped into me there. Whoa. Whoa, that was that was close as fuck. All right. Blast then. Is weak against Blazing Torch. Because well, explosives get exploded if stuff is hot. You know? 
just kind of makes me. Oh, come on, just die. There we go. Tundra's gears are frozen. Blast gears. Aka blew it. Yeah. Why not? Right, Bounce Man is weak against Pile Driver because I guess you burst his bubble with the spiky object. And, as already stated, it changes the battle completely, like Jesus. But he kinda reassembles himself after a while, which, you know, good going. Wow, that was that was horrible. Let's well, try that again. I right, try it again. There we are. Guess pop the W tank. I don't care. Yeah, Power Gear just totally wrecks bosses, as you can see, which is why I kind of always kind of don't want to use them because it's a bit too much noise he makes when he pops. And Impact Man is weak against Acid Barrier because Corrosive Metal. I guess. Kinda reminds me of Tunnel Rhino being weak to Toxic Seahorse's weak uh, weapon. Kinda the same principle, I'd say, with that one. Also, just makes as little sense as the other one, but you know. Oh god. Come on. There we are. Corrosive material versus metal equals melted metal. Alright, yeah. Guess it makes sense. And. That's the stage. No boss fight. That's the stage. Yeah, it's just the boss fights. Lazy. Lazy. And six be like, yeah, exactly. It's lazy. Okay, are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, I guess we can fill up on some W tanks. Are you sure? Are you sure? Don't think I'll need that many, are but sure. sure. Like five is enough, I think. Yeah, this is what the budget ran out, obviously. Anyways, time for Gear Fortress 4. The final, final stage of this whole critically ranking retrospect retrospective. We've come such a long way now, haven't we? Oh boy. And what we get? Uh, lifts. Yeah. Just them showing off how cool gears are. Not doing a boss, probably no rival because this game plays it safe. Moan. See, that's a good thing about playing it safe. They definitely did play it safe in this game, I'd say. Because it was like their first Mega Man game after like so many years, so like... I can get it in a sense, but... I hope for Mega Man 12 they step out of their comfort zone again and make some new gimmick stuff, maybe. Just kinda branch out again, you know? And get, get, get going again. I hope that happens for 12. That they experiment more. Oh well.
Okay, I totally forgot what he was weak to. Uh, I guess Chain Blast would make sense. Yeah, I guess that works. Yeah, that definitely works. Oops. Alright. Oh, we're doing the funny s swirly things. Cool. Just like Mega Man 1. We're really going all the way back, aren't we? How are you? I think now just a charge shot should be enough for me to do it. To him. Because, you know, I had to do it to him. Oh, come on. There we are. One more. Oh, come on. There we are. Ugh. And Wily Capsule. Weak against Acid Barrier. Because, uh, sure. Why not? Come on. Oh, time to pop the M tank right away. Why not? Oh, yeah, time for the funny line, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. It's the second form of Wally Machine, even if it's a capsule. I mean, sure. There's the line. He said the funny. He says as I blow him up! And that's time on all of Mega Man Classic. Give up, Wily. You leave me no choice. Time for plan B. Spare me! I'm a helpless old man. Mercy, Mega Man. Enough! You can't fool me that easily. Drat! But don't act so cocky. I didn't lose to you. I lost to my own technology, my double gear. I'm the greatest. I'm a genius. My, my. Will you never learn from your mistakes? Light! What are you doing here? You, you plagiarist! Open your eyes, Wily. Look at Mega Man, and tell me what you see. All I see is the instrument of my downfall. Mega Man wields tremendous power, but he has the intelligence to use it wisely. He's your vision and mine combined. If our ideas, our gears could mesh together, Mega Man would be the result. We achieve this together. It's not too late, Albert. Atone for your crimes, and join me again. Silence! My plans have only just begun, you fool! And I won't stop until I see both of you kneeling before me in utter defeat! Hold it, Wily! Remember this! Dr. Wily always strikes again! And he always wins! Farewell! My old friend, perhaps I'll That sounds so fucking sexual, you know? Horrible. Doctor, the fortress is collapsing. Ah, I've been searching all over the place for you. Ah, Otto. Did you succeed? All good, Doc. But if you don't mind my saying so, I think it's about time we blow this joint. Dr. Light, follow me.
And that was not only the end of Mega Man 11, but the end of Mega Man Classic as a whole. So let's just quickly put Wily always wins at like bottom tier, bottom D tier, because at least the boss fight was new and stuff, you know. Sure. So looking at the spread, uh, this looks more like a C rank than a B as I was expecting. Wow, that is. Ha! Huh. That's interesting. Most like the case, making a major invention or something. Plans. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Overall though, I do think Mega Man 11 is enjoyable in its own right. Sure, it's, they played it safe. They definitely played it safe, yeah. Like that's, in a nutshell, what the game represents. Just trying to tip their toes back into Mega Man after a long time. Which you can feel. They put a lot of effort into it, but some of the stages just didn't work that well, and of course the Wily Castle, as always, falls very flat. Which I think is go gonna be something that will never change. Oh well. So I guess the final rank will be a C, I guess? Sure. I guess we'll go with that. Kind of underwhelming, but... Had a ton of fun, still... Exactly! That's, that's not the problem, like, C ain't bad, it's just... It's middle of the road. Like enjoyable, but it doesn't do anything extremely groundbreaking or something. The double gear system is fun in its own right, but once again, I don't think it does too much. You know? Oh well. I'll finish up the tier list after the credits, but right now let's just talk a bit about the entirety of Mega Man Classic, why don't we? That was a fucking mess of a series, wasn't it? Like. Whew. If I just open up the tier list for myself here real quick, like we have a lot of B ranks. I know you can't see right now, but just bear with me. A lot of B ranks because the middle of the thing is just... They did get better, like 5, 4, 7, 10, 9, why they were 6. Those are good. They're very good. 8 powered up and even Mega Man 1, the, they are the middle of the road, definitely. And then there's Mega Man 3 and Mega Man the base and Mega Man 2, which are just... Oof. Oof. It's not recommended. It's really a very weird series of games to play, honestly. But like, once you get through Mega Man 2, it only gets better. So, I guess in that sense, there is more good than bad, which is not quite what I was expecting. Like, I was expecting to rip more into everything, but at least I got to rip into Mega Man 2. That's that's what matters, I guess. <laughs> so you know. I don't mind that. And I guess it's kind of refreshing to see that they actually did improve, and that's fun. Classic is pretty much a Mega Man. That's a sub goal thing. So I don't know how much, but you can look in my uh, channel description, I think, and I put it there as a, like a sub goal. So don't forget to follow. Oh, so follow goal, not sub goal. So don't forget to follow my Twitch channel for that! <laughs> so yeah. But yeah, that's uh, something. As for what's next, well, obviously, I'm gonna be doing, yeah, 200, so there's, there's got a way to go for that, but yeah. Obviously, next would be Mega Man X, the series, and I'm definitely on for that, definitely on for that, but next week, I kinda wanna do something a bit different just to make myself suffer a bit. Before Mega Man 11 came out, KG Nafune did a Kickstarter for a little game called Mighty Number no. 9. That game had so many troubles in getting released and kickstarted in general. But when it came out, oh boy, the problems did not stop. The problems did not stop. So, I feel like it would be interesting to see the brainchild of the Mega Man creator and see what the fuck happened in that game. Just as a little fun thing to rip in that for the Vita and 3DS version to come out. <laughs> yeah, that never happened, did it? So, I'm not promising fully that we're playing Mighty Number no. 9 next week. I hope we can, but the thing is, I have it on Steam, and it's such an unstable game that I don't trust the game to actually run when I install it again. So, yeah, because I need to, like, get it to windowed mode and then get it to work in Streamlabs as a window capture. I don't know if I can do that. So, if it works, we will do it. If not... I guess we'll just hop right into Mega Man X. 
So, we'll see what happens, but I hope we can do it because I figured it would be funny. And I actually never beat the game fully, so... Hey! <laughs> oh boy. Mighty number nine. <laughs> but yeah. Overall, the classic series, I did have fun. Despite all odds, and despite my general hatred for Mega Man lately, and in general because it just... The traumas, man. But... For our crit. I am not showing those. But yeah. Overall, there was a lot of enjoyable stuff. Especially in the middle road of the stuff everywhere. And I guess I also had quite a lot of fun just ripping into Mega Man 2 because fuck I hate that game. <laughs> uh, and we end with 88 one-up drops, which it's not 100, but 88 is a nice number, eh? So yeah. And I do hope you guys stick around for the rest of the Critical Ranking series because I'm not only gonna do Mega Man and Mega Man spin off fee things. I wanna just branch it out eventually, like maybe look at the new Super Mario Bros. games or generally some Mario games like that that have level structures. I think that could be fun. And I also teased like Kingdom Hearts Critical Ranking like a while ago, and I keep doing that, which. I'm still down to do that eventually, with Sepp as the co-commentator to kind of keep me in line. <laughs> so, you know, I think that could be fun. So, I hope you guys find the critic ranking in itself interesting, not just for Mega Man. So, I hope the format is fun. Because for me, for me it's a very fun format. Just something... I'm glad I came up with it, honestly. It's just very fun. It's like something that I can use to channel my... Cynical, <laughs> cynical dark self. I just kind of rant on shit for a bit. Mega Man reporting home. Right on time, Mega. Right on time for what? Are you sequel baiting me now? You can't. Oh come on, horrible. Presented by Capcom. Yeah, yeah. And now we get. Oh. At the rate we're going, we should have all eight robots back on their feet by dinner time. Doctor, did you install Mega's double gear system into auto? I did. I'll remove it later, of course. Just as soon as auto's done working. So this is why you came all the way to the gear fortress. Yes. We were able to recover all their primary components, so they should be just like new. It would be a shame to let their talents go to waste, when there's still so much good they can do. Isn't this great, Mega? You bet. Otto, you're slowing down! Why don't you pick up the pace? If I go any faster, you'll be picking up my pieces! Ugh. Thanks, Eddie. You should have thrown it a bit higher. <laughs> Auto died. Can't believe it. Kingdom Hearts ranking has he put everywhere to under C. <laughs> I can see that happening for Kingdom Hearts 1 at least. And yeah, what Adam said, you should stay for the streams at Art Mega Man. Like, I do more stuff than just critic ranking, you know? So, I would really like it if you stayed for more stuff than just this, because I don't want to be known as the Mega Man guy again, because that was back in the day. I don't want to be known as the critically ranking guy either, although that is fun. I want to be known as the guy who does a lot of fun stuff and I hope you enjoy all the fun stuff, you know, that's what I want. Anyways, let me just grab Mega Man 11 title screen. Mega Man 11 title screen. To finish the tier list once and for all. Show whatever I can. Thank you! Really appreciate that. Right, so... Where would we put Mega Man 11? Well... It's, it's a C rank for sure, but... Okay, sure. I'm gonna say it deserves the highest C rank, sure. Let's go with that. I just gotta figure out where everything is. Okay, that's Mega Man 8. Uh, no. No. 
There we go. Okay. So I'm just gonna move you over. Move you. No, wrong. Come on. I really should have named these layers, shouldn't I? Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, I think layer four was it? No. God. Seven? Oh, it was. Uh, must have been layer ten then. Yes, okay. There we go. Okay. And there we go, the final tier list for Mega Man Classic. And just for completion, let me show you the Game Boy rankings again as well. So yeah, that's Critic Ranking Mega Man Classic and Critic Ranking Mega Man Game Boy, I guess. Let's meet back next week on Friday for Critic Ranking Mighty Number no. 9, hopefully.